What's up guys, it's Shana and today we're gonna check out Mezzo at the Light CD. Penang, let's go! So for now, let's get our coordinates right. This will be the Penang Bridge. This entire stretch will be the project that we're gonna check out today called the light. So in total, this is a 152 acres freehold land. And the entire popularity started, I think, because of the completion of this highway that really brings people from Georgetown to airport. And it was constructed by them. From the scale model, you can see everything. So this is the highway that I spoke about just now, the Tun Dr. Lim Chong Yu Highway. And because of this road, this portion of land became so accessible and so relevant. Besides that, what came to my surprise today is the entire history and background of the developer. So right now the sales gallery is at the TB top of the office tower here which is next to the hypermarket, next to E-Gate, mixed development, next to all the condos here and those are all built by the same team as well. So they have a lot of expertise and manpowers in terms of construction. Combo that with the humongous canvas, I think it's so exciting. So at site, what has been completed will be this part of the light. This is phase one where you have 1177 units, 99% fully sold. And these are unit with yacht, these are unit that is waterfront, these are units with exclusivity and it's so private because it's pure residential. Then now the next focus will be the light city which is part of phase 2 itself and there will be several components here. This is a convention center, this is a shopping mall and there will be another office tower here. This will be a hotel and this will be the project that we're going to focus today called Mezzo. And the main difference between this piece of architecture versus the rest will be the privacy level. As this kind of invites more people into the development itself, it's going to be open where a lot of people are just going to hang out around the promenade here during the evenings and weekends. Plus people are going to come here for the event in the convention centers. That gives a lot of convenience to the residents of Mezzo where within walking distance you're actually connected to all these and in terms of accessibility there will be a flyover directly into the development from the end in the center there will be several going in within the development itself the local roads actually brings you to mezzo via the front here right before you head on the bridge into the light then for mezzo this is a full residential project two towers consisting of four five six units and this will be the main entrance going in. So once you turn in here, there will be an entrance statement and there will be the first drop-off. So each tower will have their own dedicated drop-offs. That's great. All elevator car parks. And this side will be the shoreline really. Like this is the sea. And this end of the development will be connected to the future shopping mall. Well, no, it's not future. It's under construction already. Then from the map, you can see here, the light city is seriously right in the center of the east side of the island. And in the sales gallery, they even included this rendering, which is really helpful. So these are completed. And this is a superimposed image. And it gives you that very clear idea of how it's going to look like in the future. So then on top of the elevated car parks, this will be the facility deck that is facing the sea directly. You have the swimming pool here with the infinity edge, then this will be the gym along with the community center. And you have this little pocket of jacuzzi here which is really nice. Then in terms of facilities, there will be the usual. I like that the pools and the water bodies here are placed closer to the sea where the more private ones such as the landscape garden, the barbecue pit, function rooms all are placed at the back instead. And the one in the center will be the community hall that is joining to the gym as well. And you have this kind of vista going on that kind of expands your view when you stand here. It kind of frames the sea view. And in the future, there will be a connection here to the extension part of the mall. So just something to take note. Lah. And personally, I was really curious on why the form of the tower is designed as such. It was with the intent of maximizing sea view 
for all the units. That's why the floor plates are also designed in the single loaded form. And there will be tower A and tower B here. And after every drop off, there will be two lobbies at the drop off. Each wing there will be three passenger lift, one service lift, servicing only four units per wing, which is incredible. In terms of privacy, in terms of security, it's so cool. And it's a single loaded structure. It means that only one side of the corridors will have units. And the unit that we're going to check out today will be Type A, which is a two-bedroom unit. When you come in via the foyer here from the corridor, you have all the back of house at the corner and this will be the living and dining space already. Imagine you just chilling and having a channel between the island and mainland, right? As the background. That is so cool. Here you have your powder room here, your dry yard here. And this unit here, there will be two bedrooms. The principal bedroom here with the sea view. Unfortunately for bedroom two here, the view will be facing the back. And this unit type will be 1,033 square feet which is very very luxurious for a two bedroom and after reviewing properties in Penang for some time right the local preference here has always been three bedrooms so that they can host their entire family in that unit but almost all of the three bedrooms for Menzo itself are fully sold so the demographic of audience for the two bedroom designs will be a little bit different where they pursue more of quality of space instead of quantity like the same square foot, right? People used to put three bedrooms, now it's only two where your living and dining is so humongous having this view as the backdrop of your space. Yeah, so it really depends whether is it as a home to host your entire family or is it a holiday home? You come here just to stay a little bit or it's a pure weekend home slash investment kind of property. Up to you. And the selling price per square feet on average right now is around a thousand. So the unit that we just checked out just now, which is around a thousand square feet, is a million ringgit, living next to the channel here. And since we're talking about the channel, in Penang itself, there are different types of seafront properties. This one that is facing the mainland tends to have the sea in a more calmer state. The waves are not as strong. But if you go to the other parts of Penang where it's open, the entire characteristic of the sea will be very, very different. And what's cool here from the sales gallery is I get to see the entire stretch of development. You just point out that ability to build up all the roads, all the infrastructure, drainage, landfilling, everything up front before the projects are even launched. That signifies again the financial background and stability that they have, the confidence that they have, along with the track records that they have done. So like for the light, maybe people were a little bit skeptical about having a seafront luxury villa in the center of Penang. But suddenly, when it's 99% so, the entire narrative change. And I guess that's all from checking the project from afar. Let's get in. Now we are at site, right in front of Mezzo itself and throughout the drone shot you can see that everything is full fledged ongoing. All construction works are taking place right now and it's massive. The convention center, the shopping mall and Mezzo all together will concurrently most probably be completed together. And this will be the site we are right next to the light where it's all fully completed and it looks amazing. So I need to pay attention since we are at site will be the streetscapes. Like the roads are really wide in comparison to the older developments in Penang. This is really luxurious. And you have the greenscape here, the hardscape here for people to walk around and cycle around. And part of the attractive point for me for this development, right, is that the developer is also the master planner of the entire development. So they get to dictate the size and experience of users around the road. Conventionally, these are all built by government, so it's best to just keep it at minimum functional can ready. There's no need for experience and all. But now when you're building a luxury segment property like a promenade at the seaside with convention centers and malls, right? Details like this is going to be really, really crucial. And now let's just drive around the site to further experience the entire development. Cool. Hey guys, the team agreed to bring me around and this is the light collection and this is the man-made water structure in the center and 
there's a lot of marine life inside. What I'm going to highlight also will be the streetscapes. And the best part about having existing projects is they can actually prove the deliverables of such that is going to be implemented within the future project as well. So you go into the walkways, landscape treatments, facade treatments, and etc. Nice. Look at the real fishes. Wow. This is so cool. And a stingray. Hey guys, so now we are in the sub deck. Hey, look at this. Wow. Look at that. And this is their treatment and definition of sunken deck brought in a whole different level. Again, this is going to be so exciting for kids even to flex for your friends and family, right? We are at the edge of the waterfront and this will be somewhat the experience that you're going to get at Mezzo as well. But the distance from the bridge is going to be a little bit different. I guess that's the entire thing about seafront living. Once you are so close to the ocean, right, everything slows down. It becomes so calm and comfortable and it just takes you away from whatever that's going through your mind. You know, waterfront living is a whole different definition altogether. But you need to match that with the convenience that you're going to get, which is the mall the corporate offices, if your company is there, wow, that's the best already. Really. You can walk to work, right? And you have the convention center there as well. So, it's a nice balance between convenience and privacy, but if you want full privacy, Mezzo is going to be so different from the light collection. And now, we are walking along this stretch where they have the seafront villas, and they cost 14 million per unit. And the houses are actually on stilts, but you get the best view and it's such an intimate relationship with you and the sea it's so close and there are some units that they have the deck directly into the house so you can go speed boating or whatsoever luxury life there you go And now we are at the private marina and those boats that you see there are open for residents. They can actually just rent them and enjoy the lifestyle that they want because the maintenance of the boat is actually the one that's very expensive. Just an idea of how is it living by the sea. I guess this is the definition of it already. This is so nice. Then coming out from the light and the light city, right, you can immediately feel the intensity of the roads already. It's directly connected to the highway and there'll be a minor U-turn to come back into this commercial area called E-Gate and Lotus Hypermarket here. Temporarily, this will be the closest commercial area to the development now. And we always speak about malls and the uncertainty of who's operating them, right? So the team is in collaboration with a Singapore mall operator, which is very, very cool. And there are some anchor tenants being signed already. So let's stay tuned for the news lah when it's coming out. I guess that's pretty much it for today. It's now time for Sean's take 3 on 3. And now we are back in the office again because it's raining. Anyway, the first thing that I really really like is the track record and the reputation of the developer. I think they played really humble because I don't really see a lot of advertisement about how great their planning is on how magnificent their build quality is or whatsoever where I think they should like this location has been relevant because of the highway they constructed then immediately they built the corporate office tower here they built E-Gate they built Udini Square they built the hypermarket and across the coastline from the light over to Kabao Singh Drive generally most of them are Diaz and if you look into the progress of the light everything is done up in terms of infrastructure like the roads the lights the landscapes the foundations and etc all those are done already before even figuring out what to launch not many developers can pull such a move and when we check out the light collection just now it's really beyond expectation I thought those were water bodies in the center of the development no they are filled with marine life 
Then if you look into the villas, it's gonna be like the usual villas that we see usually. No, there's connection to the water. They are resting on stilts. And to think about all those are almost fully sold out. But what amazed me the most is that first phase that was launched, that was completed around 10 to 12 years ago, right? Still looks brand new. It means that the maintenance works are also taken care of really nicely. All those elements just builds up the confidence for me for their future projects. Then the second thing I really like will be the architectural elements. And there'll be two components to this in terms of macro view, like the town planning ability that allows them to dictate the size of the roads. The road shoulders where it includes the green path and the bicycle path and the setback between the road to the building and the landscape treatments. There's something about when you drive into the development, immediately you feel as if you're not in Penang anymore. And there are multiple townships in Penang that can deliver such an experience. This is one of them. Then for Mezzo itself, how the buildings reacts to the surrounding is also really good. Like the building was designed in a way where the view to the waterfront is maximized. The relationship between private and the mall against the convention center needs to be demarcated really well by locating the drop-offs facing the sea instead of facing the front in terms of facility stack as well. Private spaces face the back where the swimming pool face the front so they can maximize the entire vista of the seafront. Then you have four units per floor with a single loaded corridor. Wow! And I also like how the light city which is a mixture of more commercial activities compared to the light collection. Here you have the malls where there will be higher possibility of people coming into the development and hang out. So there will be more strangers. And these are done intentionally where the residents within the deeper end of the development is the most private one. So this is a part of the land that is closer to the access to the site. Therefore, it's going to be more and more public. And all those are done with intent. And the last point will be this is a township development. It's really where you come across a freehold 152 acres piece of land where it's that canvas for you to do everything. Like instead of all just maximizing into high rise after high rise after high rise, where they just maximize profit, this is done in a very different manner. To me, the light is as if done with the intention to make a big statement. Like if you go into the landscape treatments, the architectural treatments, the programming, I really, really enjoy it. So everything can be orchestrated from the access to the road width, to the shoulder width, to the massing of buildings, to the program, to the launching strategy and etc. Everything can be orchestrated because it's a township development. Unlike a pocket land development where you're just one piece of land where you have absolutely no control over your environment. It's just a really, really different experience. Therefore, the three things I don't like, number one, temporarily, will be the accessibility. I don't see a clear in-out, although within the master plans, it's done up. Lah. Also, because it's located straight away connected to a massive highway, therefore, they need to comply to the regulation of having a leeway first before joining back into the highway. So. It's a little bit more technical. Therefore, I'm still not too sure on how to come in and out from this development. Because some of the roads are already done, just that why are those not joined yet? The second thing would be the lack of commercial activities, where currently the residents of the light wheels always need to drive out or they just order in for the convenience, like for groceries or food or whatever. But with Mezzo and the convention center and the mall coming out, yes, it's part of the plan to resolve this convenience issue. So I do hope that the mall that is in collaboration with their Singapore partner is going to address that convenience matter. Because like a, for a simple lunch, like for breakfast, I need to drive out, then come back. Lunch, I drive out again, then come back. And then for dinner, I drive out again. Yeah, I'm a person that I want convenience at my doorstep, right? I'm a mixed development guy. And the last thing will be the uncertainty of what's to come for the next phase of development. So if you look into the master plan, they write commercial developments or parks or gardens, right? And how long it's going to take as well. So right after the completion of Mezzo and the convention center and etc., right? There will still be a lot of construction trucks going around because part of the development is still ongoing. And I hope that there will be more formal announcement from the team. And I guess that's all for this episode. So this experience has been easily one of the top most memorable property visits ever where you have a water body in the center of the development that uses water directly from the sea to sustain marine life that lives along with you then you have great architecture that responds to the surrounding along with tip-top maintenance and i expect all those to be carried through into mezzo and the future phases right as i think for the light collection is more of an own stay one 
For Mezzo, I'm not too sure because of the convention center and the shopping mall, there might be some investment opportunities. Anyway, shout out to the team again for having me. This has been so much fun. We checked out the hilltop development. We checked out a waterfront development. Wow, if you really like this episode, like it, share it, and even subscribe for more information like this. Until next time, this is Sean Dan. Ciao.